where it gets a little tricky because I'm using a razor blade. Okay? I have to emphasize to be extremely careful using these things. It's very easy to cut your fingers. And I'm not going to tell you how many times I've cut my fingers. A lot. But when you start tying flies, you have to have a base point of cuts to know how to shape the fly. So what we do is most of the flies that you see will, will have a straight cut on the bottom as they come from a fly shop or, or something like that. Well, all things in nature are not flat, believe me. But for this purpose, we're going to make it flat. I always start at the, at, at the hook eye, and I come about a sixteenth of an inch. I don't want it right on that shank, I'm going to lose all my hair. So I come up anywhere from a sixteenth to an eighth inch, right above that hook shank. And I'm going to cut back, and as you'll remember, if you can remember where that midpoint is, it's right pretty close to where the end of that point of that hook is. If you can see it up there, I pop it out. On the Dahlberg, I start at the hook eye and I've got a pair of curved scissors. And I'll, you always want to cut more out than you do in because once you cut in, you can't put that hair back on. Believe me, you have to start all over. But I know just about where that hook eye is and I want this to come out about to where the green is on film. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to make an easy cut and the contour of these curved scissors is going to follow that. Okay? Kind of round off the nose of that. I'm going to come on the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make that cut and it's going to go, look, take the shape kind of a, of a little bit of a triangle with a curve. And that's my three primary cuts. Turn the fly over, and I always look at the top to see how this is going to come out. And this is going to look pretty good. We're going to have the white spot in the black and a little bit of the olive. And right in here, I'm going to stop pretty much where this black is. And I'm going to uh, make that my collar and shape it from there. I start right at the hook eye. And at about just about a 45 degree angle, I'm going to start shaping this toward that olive. And I know just about just about when I cut through that olive, then I've got a pretty good taper going. And I come back and I just follow the same cut, probably three or four cuts, and I follow it all the way around. Now with a rotary vise, you can you know you can gently turn it and trim it as you go and when I get down to that point you can pick up the little stragglers and rotate it and follow this around and you can see a little bit of a stripe starting to form got a little bit of a black stripe a little bit of a green and we'll just follow that on around of course, these rotary vices are great for this. And we've got the little green stripe, or the little green spot, excuse me. Well, they asked me, they said, well, how do you get it so smooth? Well, I'm going back to the razor blade again, and this is the tricky part. Stick my finger in it, I'm gonna bend it a little bit. Now, I've done this enough to know just about where these points are, but believe me, I have cut my, thumb and forefinger doing this a lot of times. But I'm going to come in, I'm going to start right at, right at that hook eye. I'm going to squeeze this blade and I'm going to gently come up and just trim. And you'll see that hair starting to fly away. I'm going to rock it a little bit, come right up to that collar point. And I'm going to pop it out. Okay, that's going to give me my smooth cuts. Come in here, do a little bit more fine-tuning around here, and come in and come on under the bottom, taper this out a little bit. 
Another thing they asked me, well, how come I'm going to take this out of the vise? Because I'm basically using my fingers for this. They say, well, how do you get it so symmetrical around your sides and the top of your collar? Well, I make, most tires will make one cut around the top of the collar. And if you'll notice, it's pretty much where you can, where you can see that black, if you're looking at it this way that you can see a, a, a shape of it pretty much being round, pretty much has a curvature to it. What I do is I hold this in my hand, I'm using my finger here, I'm, let, I'm holding the tail feathers, or my tail down, and I'm using my thumb on the hook eye, and I'm pulling toward me. Okay, looking at it that way, take my curved scissors again, and I'm gonna make this a little bit short collar, but I'm gonna follow that black right around the top. <sighs> like so. Okay. Well, here's the trick that makes them look good. Everybody wants to see it. Well, deer hair is squeezable. Okay, it's like going to a barber shop. I'm gonna squeeze this pretty hard. You'll see my tail sticking out here. These are my tail fibers that I put in the stacker. And you'll see that. It looks kind of like a mohawk with a curve, right? I'm gonna come in here with my curved scissors. I'm gonna follow this curve. And I'm gonna make this cut right to the end point of that tail. Okay, now most people stop at this point. To make them look pretty and fancy, this is gonna be the side cut. You see the little stragglers right here. I come and I follow the contour of this. Just, and I'm tilting these scissors just a little bit where this will kind of taper down the back of this fly. I come in and I make the, the cuts right on top of that. And try to get that one last little bit. <sighs> Come over to the other side. Hold your tail down. Kind of fluff this up a little bit and you see the stragglers. Now this, the point of this blade right here, you can use to push your tail fibers back. Come in and follow the contour of that cut right around. On the doll bird, I can probably leave it like this and go ahead and fish it. But if you'll notice, the front of the collar looks a little bit uneven, okay? If you can see that, if you're looking at it that way, it doesn't look, it looks okay and it, it will catch fish. But if you really want to make it look pretty, come back in and come right at the bottom. I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use the point of this to hold back the black. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna follow the contour of that shape. And I'm gonna cut all, all these little stragglers out. I'm gonna follow it all the way around. Hold this down and I'm gonna catch all the little stragglers on the bottom. I'm going to put it back in a vise, let you see what it looks like. Starting to shape up pretty good. And you'll see your white, your stripe, your olive stripe, your green spot. And if you'll notice, there's your white, little white spot on the top. 